Hey guys, Average Woodsman here. So uh, before I before I start this this review and uh, kind of go over the stuff that I have in, in my in this uh, travel kit, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that um, one of my dogs, Misty, she got bit by a water moccasin, and uh, it was touch and go for a while. She is doing a lot better. She's not completely out of the woods yet, but she is doing a lot better. Um, I'm going to put a link down the, below in uh, in this video to our GoFundMe. We spent so much money, uh, all of our savings, I, I don't even want to even go into it. But uh, if you guys want to go down there and check it out and, and donate, you can. If not, totally understand. Um, my fiance, she's been updating it regularly with the, you know, with everything that's going on, pictures and the bills and everything like that, just to make sure that, that uh, everyone knows that we're not trying to scam anyone. Anyway, let's get into this video. Thanks, guys. I know that um, my fiance and I travel or were traveling for work before this whole COVID-19 thing happened. Uh, so now we're back in Florida permanently, or at least, you know, for the foreseeable future. Um, I, like most most uh, people who are prepared, you know, have a prepared mind to set, mindset, we, we uh, you know, we like to be prepared when we're out and about, especially on the road when we don't have all of our, all of our gear and all of our preps and things like that like we would at our house. So what I did is I would always have some sort of a, a bag with me with certain items. Uh, when I got this bag, uh, this is from a company called Waysport or Ysport. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. It's a Polish company. This is their 30 liter. This is their Sparrow 30. It is a, a really, a really pretty, a pretty ideal size backpack for most things. And what I wanted to do with this specific backpack is kind of set it up as a lightweight kind of do everything travel bag like a get home bag if I had to let's say in an emergency some sort of a natural disaster economic collapse for, or for some reason uh, we had to uh, you know uh, abandon our vehicle I would have a bag with me that I could that would have all the items and the gear I would need but did not weigh me down I don't want to carry a, a, a 60 pound you know backpack when I'm trying to when I'm having especially if I have to travel over really long distances you know you're talking about we were living in the Midwest at the time and you're talking about multiple states we'd have to travel and you want to move fast I don't want to I'm not out there practicing bushcraft I'm not out there going you know in that type of a situation you're not out there camping this would be specifically to kind of uh, move quickly and it had just it has just the items that I personally uh, believe that I would need in an emergency situation. But, but I didn't skimp on anything. I didn't have to skimp because the way this backpack is set up and and the size of it is just about right, in my opinion, for most situations. Now, would I want this if I was going backpacking, uh, for you know, on the Appalachian Trail or uh, you, you know a week or 14 days in, in Yellowstone National Park and I'm camping out there enjoying myself. No, that's not what this backpack is set up to do. This backpack is set up as an emergency pack. If I had to, to ditch my vehicle for some reason, I would be able to survive out of this pack, live out of it for a short period of time. And it's lightweight enough. It's more than lightweight enough. I mean, this thing weighs under 20 pounds for sure. Probably I think when I weighed it, it was like right around 16 pounds with a full bottle of water. So this thing is super lightweight, um, and it's easily, uh, you can throw this thing on and you can just, it doesn't weigh you down, uh, and it's just a really, a really good setup. So I'm going to go ahead and So before I get into the pack, I almost forgot, I want to go over my EDC gear, so obviously. I'm going to always have some sort of a firearm on me. I have a, my Glock 19. Um, sometimes I'll carry my, my Glock 29, but I always have a, a firearm on me. I live in a, in, a, in a relatively free state. If you live in a, in a state or country where you can't have a firearm, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. But uh, when I traveled with this pack, I did carry some extra magazines. Uh, three, actually three extra magazines, three Glock 17 magazines. Uh, also, I always have a folding knife on me, the Topps X, XS Delta 
folder is what I'm carrying on me right now. That's that's um, so I'm always gonna have some sort of a folder. I generally always have a flashlight on me, also some sort of an EDC flashlight and a belt knife. Today is my Bark River Bravo 1.5. Now whether or not I have the knife on me, I don't always have my belt knife on me when I'm traveling, but it's always with my kit in the vehicle. And then a wallet, phone, keys, those types of things, and I keep a, a SWAT T tourniquet in my back pocket along with my chapstick. But that's just, a, that's honestly, that's, that's about all I carry on me. Sometimes I'll carry a lighter or like today since I'm out in the woods, I'm carrying a light my fire. 2.0 barrel rod and a Fox 40 whistle. Uh, most of the time I'll carry just a regular lighter in my pocket even though I don't smoke. It's always, always good to have a lighter. But uh, other than that, that's about all I carry on me. Uh, uh, my EDC especially when I'm out here in the woods or when I'm traveling. So I, as you guys can see, I, I don't actually have anything on the outside. I'm not a big fan of putting stuff all over the outside of my back bag that's one of the things that if, if this were um, one of the things I could change about it, I wouldn't have all this molly all over it's just not necessary for what I do uh, you guys are probably gonna say oh well you know this bag is camouflage you can't have a camouflage backpack uh, you know a gray man well it is what it is it's camouflaged in a, in a situation where you could have you know societal breakdown civil unrest if someone sees you, you could have a, a, a Jam Sport backpack on. If they want to take your stuff, they're going to try and take your stuff. The, the Make yourself a hard target. Don't be a soft target, and hopefully you won't have to worry about it. Also, I'm not going to... Uh, the route that I set up with with uh, my map, I, I, avoid, I would have avoided large cities anyway, so it's not really an issue. I think the gray man thing is a useful concept, but it tends to be a little bit overblown. Anyway, let me get off my soapbox. So, this is the backpack. It's it's made out of made out of heavy duty material. It's, it's a military grade backpack, from what I understand, from what I've read. Uh, Waysport makes uh, military backpacks for the Polish uh, military, and. Um, it, it's held up well. I mean, it's a little bit beat up now. It's 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 dirty. It's definitely dirty. It's been thrown around a lot and inside in, in and out of the vehicle. I've I've taken it on. I mean, I couldn't even tell you how many hikes and things like that. But uh, it's holding up really well. I'll show you guys what I got in it. So, so I just have um, a couple of Velcro patches. There's a little strip here that you can attach some morale patches to. I just have one about camping and bass fishing. I, I love fishing. So right here in the front, I have a couple of chem lights. I have my Baco Laplander holding saw. I have a whole roll of Gorilla Tape. I have my compass, my Soon 2 compass and, and uh, map cards. Now I will say one thing really quick I want to uh, just touch on. I forgot to put back in my map. I had a topo map for this that was in this bag when we were traveling with my route and everything like that. I just took it out. I forgot to put it back in for this for this review. And I also keep a, a, a large book with the, the continental United States and maps of, of every state, large cities, all those types of things in the vehicle too. Anyway, I have just some mechanics gloves and that's all that I have in the, this front portion. Now, one thing that's really cool about this backpack too is it's very organized. I'm gonna put go ahead and put everything back in really quick as I go through it. That way, I don't have a bunch of stuff just thrown on the ground. So, this has a bunch of compression straps, which I really like because if I had this thing super packed. Uh, I could always cinch it down really well so it wasn't putting a bunch of strain on these zippers. And by the way, these are heavy duty zippers. I'm, I'm assuming they're YKK zippers, but these things are heavy, heavy duty zippers. These are not like the ones you find on cheaper backpacks. And uh, everything is really well stitched, by the way. 
So right here I just have my leather my leather and surge multi tool. I have a large ferro rod, a sharpie. I have my uh, just you know a bic and an exotech fire sleeve, and then this is some uh, of the fire cord. I have my work my little uh, work sharp field sharpener. Apparently a moist toilet towelette. I didn't know that that was even in here, but it is. I have some extra chapstick. A bunch of tinder and extra little uh, Suntu compass. And I have some water purification tablets. And then just some more tender. This is just Vaseline cotton balls. It doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't take up really any space. I figure I'd throw it in there. And then I have uh, just a right in the rain notepad with a bunch of notes over the years. I mean, I've used this thing for years and years. I have my bit kit for my Leatherman Surge. Just a small lockpick. This is a titanium lockpick set. I have just, this is just a couple of, uh, an extra sail needle and some safety pins. If I can get this out, this thing's stuck here. The main compartment. One thing cool about this backpack, which is, which I like about, um, that a lot of backpacks don't have, is that it opens all the way up to like a clamshell design so you can access everything from inside of it. So in the main compartment, I just have, I have my military parka. I have my headlamp. This is actually not a Princeton Tech. I'll show you guys. It's actually a Petzl, but this Princeton Tech case fit it so well and it has an extra spot for batteries. I figured I would go ahead and throw it in there. It works really well and it's, it protects it. I have, this is just a little pack cover for my, for the backpack itself. Um, it gets used every now and then. Generally, if it's a really hard rainstorm, I'll throw on my poncho, my, my Pathfinder poncho slash tarp because it'll protect the whole thing and it'll protect my whole body from getting wet. But uh, it does get used sometimes. For food, I have SOL. These are the, the emergency rations, the lifeboat rations. Uh, they don't last forever. They're not like, you know, freeze-dried food that can last for decades. These only last a few years, so you have to eventually eat them. But uh, these are actually new. I got these about four months ago, so they have a long, long time I can carry these with me. I got a couple of packs of them, and uh, so this is this one right here is relatively new. I just have my first aid kit. I mean, there's everything you can imagine in here medications, boo-boo stuff, and then a full a full-blown blowout kit with tourniquet and uh, compression gauze, all that hemostatic agent, everything in here that you could imagine uh, for a good emergency uh, individual first aid kit. This is uh, something that I added recently as a more extensive, like a larger container. I figure that this could, I, I could have a lot of uses for this. Um, so I just have some survival items in here. This is a, my fishing kit. I've made, I actually made a video on this before. I have some, just some quadruple uh, steel wool. I have a, some yo-yo fishing reels, some extra bank line for making court, for making uh, bow drill fires, some more uh, tender. 10 quick tabs, and these are obviously uh, strike anywhere matches. And then here's this. This is more for like one-handed striking. I figured I'd throw it in here. It doesn't weigh anything. Obviously, in an escape and evasion type situation, I'm not going to be worried about fire. But this stuff doesn't weigh very much, and if I needed to start a fire, I have more than enough items to. Also, I have. 
items to collect food if it were to take longer for me to get back to uh, my, you know, from, from a to point A to point B. If it did take me longer, I have plenty of, of, of ways to, to actually collect food if, if I absolutely had to. Of course, I have my cup and bottle and stove that I've had for years and years and years. Uh, I mean, what, what's not to say about this? It's, it's one of the most versatile items you can carry with you. Stainless steel cup and bottle, and then I keep the stove just attached to it as one unit. And then I have my Pathfinder. This is my Pathfinder tarp slash poncho. I've had this thing for a long time. I've used it a ton of times. It's just really, really good piece of kit. It weighs basically nothing, and it... Uh, it can be used as a, as a poncho over top of you in a rainstorm, or you can set it up as a tarp. It's just a super useful piece of kit. And then uh, right here, which is the cool thing about this backpack, is it has pretty good organization. So I have some smaller items in here. They're not just flopping around. This is a bunch of, of uh, uh, fire cord. My fish, fish mouth spreader for my, for my cup and bottle. Just a titanium spork. A little transient stove with uh, that's filled with with uh, alcohol. One thing about this, the reason why I threw this in here is once again this doesn't weigh very much, and it has a lot of different uses. In an escape and evasion type situation, if I had to, for some reason, cook or boil water, I don't want to start a fire. This can do both easily so I figured that I figured I'd throw it in here this is my water filtration system it's just a Sawyer with the the plunger the straw and the bag this is just an extra container and I also have a bunch of Coleman water purification tablets this is just some basic hygiene I just have some wet wipes a toothbrush and some extra toothpaste. Add the lid, my cup and bottle, and then my Spyderco bandana with a bunch of emergency tender in here. You guys have probably seen this before. I like to keep some fat wood in there. Last but certainly not least, I have an, a roll of number 36 bank line, my Shimog, and a couple of heavy mill trash bags. So as you guys can see, I have plenty of gear in here. I didn't have to skimp on anything. This thing, and this thing is lightweight, relatively compact, and uh, I, I didn't have to skimp on any gear. Uh, honestly, it's a, it's a great setup. A lot of people would probably say I could even dump more gear if I wanted to, or I might have unnecessary things. This is just my setup, guys. This covers the 10 Cs plus. And uh, I don't have to, uh, I, the gear that's in here could sustain me for a pretty long time. Uh, also, uh, that's actually, that's pretty much it, guys. I was going to say, I was trying to think of anything else that I might want to say, but I, I'm pretty good. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one.